What's up YouTube? Today we're just going to do a little unboxing video of the light armored vehicle anti-tank the United States Marine Corps version and 135th scale from the Trumpeter. It looks like it's going to be a fun model to build so let's go ahead and crack this box open. First of all there's a plastic layer all around this box. So I have not took a peek at this at all so we waited just to show this to y'all. The, all the wrapping off. Tight box. That's good. Slide this open a little bit. Jeez. box that's for sure this is hard to get open there we go boom oh I didn't get the cardboard just a tad okay let's go ahead and get down to the paperwork the uh, um first off we'll just show off the decals real fast not a lot just the little unit tags and stuff nothing too big Here we got the camo side lay that out to the front first we got the camo some nato camo nothing too fancy nothing on the back still one camo you have nato or nothing i guess you would say um looks like it's pretty cool okay so let's first open this thing up go ahead and straighten you out Zoom in just a little bit. Awesome. Starts off by giving us a look of all the spruces, photo etch, decals, tires. Looks pretty cool. Next, we go into. Oh, that's only part 17, so we start part one. Oh, I wish this would have been like a booklet, not a pamphlet. That's the thing. Come on, Trumpeter. Give us booklets. On the first one, you got the lower hull. So you start build the suspension. Add more detail to your suspension on part two. Open her up to part three. There's part two. Part three, you got more detail to the lower hull. Part four, adding like a bush plate and then adding like the uh, more suspension stuff. Part five, finally start to work on the wheels. That's cool. Six, you finish up on the lower hull, add the tires. On part seven, you start working on the upper part of the upper hull assembly. Seven. Now we gotta go to eight. Right here. Eight. You got part eight, you got your upper assembly, upper hole, more upper hole assembly. You got little details being put on between nine and 12. Go to 13, boom, 13. You got adding upper hole assembly. A lot of upper holes, a lot, upper hole, upper hole, pretty much part 14. And part 15 is adding upper hole stuff and photo etch. Part 16, you start working on the turret assembly. So that's the anti-tank missile launching system. So that's interesting to finally getting into that. You got turret assembly, finishing up on the turret. On 17. Part 18, you're starting to add all of it together. 19, you put the top on. 20, you add it. 20, you officially put it all together. 20, is there any other ones? All the same steps, just, just make sure I go through, pop, pop, yep, 20, that's the last thing, is attach, so then you go on into paint work, it's a pretty cool little old thing, nothing too complicated, with the uh, directions right here, put that off to the side, 
first first we have is Spruce G. We'll see if we can find Spruce A. We'll go down from A. We've got D. We got B. And I think there's a lucky A. A. So right here we got Spruce A. We'll open. We'll open her up since this is probably to be the tank I start off with building. Slice her down. Oh, that's a bad slice. There we go. Whoa. That was a tricky little thing. You got part. You got spruce A. Um you have your looks like the wheels and the hubcaps, uh, suspension right here. More suspension. You have the drive and you have the back of the wheels. That's what A is. A is just the wheels and stuff. Nothing too complicated. We'll grab part B. Spruce B. Right here, we'll get that out. Right here, we'll look at it. Right there. So we got the exhaust right here. We got the back door. The front plate. We got the uh, shovel. Just a little detail here. You got the little um, handles and or handles and stuff. Just little details, doors, hatches, and stuff. So B is really just a little detail. Now we get into G. Uh, we don't want G, we want, and then we got D, so we're missing C. Um, right here, I'll grab the photo etch real fast for y'all. Show off the photo etch. Um, there's the photo etch. Very nice looking photo etch. Doesn't look too complicated. That's, that's photo etch A, so there's only, I don't know how many photo etches it comes with, but. There's photo watch A. You open up the uh, this little panel right here you have on the box. You have a little panel. You open it up. It has your your um, top of the hole. Top of the hole. I'll open this up real fast. Keep hitting now. I'm sorry, y'all. Shaky. Just keep hitting the tripod. Um, there's the top of the hole. We got the bottom hole right here. Oh, wow. That's a sturdy plastic. Yeah, that's a really sturdy plastic. Okay, yeah, bottom part of the hole. I like, there's a lot of detail on it, just naturally. Jeez. It's very sturdy, too. Like, good lord. It's a sturdy piece of plastic. And the final thing that comes in this little compartment is your tires. There's rubber tires. I'm, I'm not going to get them out because I really don't want to lose them yet. Um, yeah, just rubber tires with a basic pattern on them, tread pattern. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Yeah, you can see it focused. Pretty basic pattern. Put that up there. Um, we got part G and D. Open up part G real fast. Here's part G. Spruce G. Let's open her up right here. You got your another part of the back. You got some the uh, commander's cupola and stuff, and then I guess that's your ring. I, this looks like a lot of it to build the um, your um, turret. 
this spruce looks like a lot for the turret. And your final little spruce, it's a small one. It's actually, this one's D, the other one's G that I just showed. G, open little G up, and it's just a very small little spruce. Nothing much, just nice little small, little details. But all in all, it looks like it's going to be a fun build. This is the Trumpeter La, uh, Light Armor Vehicle Anti-Tank. If you did not catch it, zoom out for y'all. Boom. Y'all did not catch what vehicle this is. Um, looks like it's going to be a fun kit. Um, just look forward to watching me build it. And so long. Peace out, YouTube.